Hello everyone, welcome back to video lecture on OpenCV. Uh, in this video lecture, we'll be learning uh, something about histogram. So histogram is a graphical representation of tonal distribution in digital images. Uh, it is a plot of number of pixels for each tonal value or we can say intensity versus number of pixels. In the previous video lecture, we saw that uh, uh, one of the image enhancement technique that is if you if your uh, image is of not good quality you can uh, improve the quality of those images using transformations we saw negative transformation log transformation and gamma or power law transformation and there is one more transformation uh, piecewise linear transformations and uh, one more way of uh, improving the quality of images by using a histogram methods the histogram methods one method is histogram equalization and histogram matching uh, we won't be dealing with these two methods now, but uh, let us restrict ourselves only to the histogram. Histogram uh, gives us the information about the contrast of the image. The contrast is nothing but a difference between highest and lowest pixel intensity available in the image. Uh, imagine if you have an image uh, whose intensity ranges from 100 to 200. Then the contrast is calculated as 200 minus 100, which is 100. So if you have an image with a contrast 100, uh, it is not of good quality. The higher contrast results in good quality of images. Here is few examples of histogram. Uh, one histogram you can see here. Uh, this bottom side or x-axis corresponds to intensity range, and the uh, y-axis corresponds to number of pixels. In this histogram, uh, you can see that histogram is confined to the lower section of the intensities. So this is not at all a good histogram because the contrast is very less. And the histogram is distributed in the center portion of the intensity. So since it is not distributed all over, we can say the contrast is not good or the image quality is not good. And one more is uh, here the intensities are distributed in only upper uh, part of the intensity line. So since it is not distributed all over, again we can say that the contrast is not good. And in the fourth figure you can see that intensity is distributed all over. So we can see this is having a good contrast. Since good uh, contrast uh, result in a good quality, we can uh, pretty much say that uh, this particular uh, image has a uh, good, good quality. Next one is the piecewise linear. Here you can see from this intensity to this part of the intensity, it is varying in linear fashion. And again, from this intensity to this intensity, it is varying linear. Only in this particular intensities, you have boosted the output intensity into some higher level. Since the curve is made out of uh, small, small pieces of uh, linear lines, we can say this is a piecewise linear. And one more piecewise linear is here, which is nothing but a binarization. Here the lower inputs uh, input range of intensity is converted to uh, high value and high value is converted to low value and this one is opposite of it the low value is converted to zero and the high values are converted to one unique high value so this deals with the binarization of a image now let us see the program for histogram uh, in this program I have written my own histogram function uh, but the inbuilt histogram uh, function will be discussed maybe in the next videos since no one stops you from writing your histogram you better write your own histogram uh, in this histogram I have used three, nearly three for loops and uh, one or two if condition this function histogram function is only for uh, 8 bit Im uh, grayscale images so if you have color images it can't find you the histogram and we have two functions here one is my hist it's for uh, calculating the histogram which takes uh, two input parameters one is input image and one is the histogram and uh, we are sending the reference here and one more is draw hist which is used for drawing of the histogram uh, the histogram whatever you calculated has to be sent here and the window name where you want to display the histogram so let's straight away go to the main program first so i'm taking an image uh, checking how many arguments are there if argument is greater than 2 read the image into this image one variable check whether the data are available in the image one or not if it is not then return or else it display in one particular window name, uh, named it as a input and next is you have to create a variable uh, which stores the histogram uh, it is having only one row and 257 columns 
and the reason for 257 columns is uh, we, if you are dealing with the 8-bit image there could be 256 intensities so but one more extra is available uh, it is for storing the maximum number of pixels are stored in the last memory location and it is 32 bit floating point the reason for it is if you just give a, a u8 it becomes just uh, it can hold only 256 values but we don't know how many pixels we have in our image so even if you give a the 16 it results into maximum of 2 raised to 16 so let's not uh, give 2 raised to 16 so better give a, two, a 32 it gives you it can store maximum of 2 raised to 32 values in one particular memory location and here is my function my hist uh, which calculates the histogram it takes the input image and it takes this particular video uh, sorry uh, asd variable and let's go for the my hist function and this function takes the reference uh, not simply the copy of the image it is taking the reference of the image so if you make some changes to this particular image it results in even the main function so whatever the ASD variable that we sent to the my uh, hist function I am setting it to zero uh, it is just initialization by using function set to and I am declaring a variable known as float uh, max i uh, which is now initialized to zero which will hold the maximum count of particular intensity this particular uh, magzai is used for uh, drawing the histogram uh, let me run this program first then only you can understand the uh, how it works here i will be displaying two images one is input image and one more is a blurred version of input image and its corresponding histogram is here and this blurred image histogram is here so you can see that the maximum value is touching the uh, highest uh, the uh, peak of this image and here also you can see the uh, maximum intensity which is somewhere down here it is touching the peak of this particular image so that is the reason uh, using that maximum peak i can modify rest other uh, intensities uh, to draw it in uh, this particular white background and uh, this is uh, maximum count so whatever you are seeing here this intensity is having a maximum of 2730 number of pixels uh, this in this blurred version uh, this one this particular intensity is having nearly 3279 pixels in it now let's go back to function so magzai stores the maximum uh, value of particular intensity and uh, since i need a row access of both this asd and ptr I need a variable uh, which points to row. So y is my uh, variable which points to particular row of ASD. Since it has only one row, I initialized it using zero. And the function that you use uses a PTR, and you need to send float because this ASD is 32f. And next is three for loops. One for loop is here is for row access, and one more for loop is for column access. And in the row access I am getting ith row uh, it, as soon as the i changes the row also points to uh, this x points to different rows and j is for accessing the columns and here is some uh, for loop with k this k is runs from 0 to maximum 256 it means it's for the intensity so when k starts with 0 I am checking the content of this uh, input image or the row so if it is equal it means the xj is of kth intensity so i need to increase uh, memory of the y y is nothing but asd so uh, kth position of the y is increased by one and i am storing that particular value in max i if this max i is uh, first initialized to zero so for the first time the y of k that is y of 0 will be stored here in this max i and in the next the if y k is la, greater than max i that particular y k will be stored in the max i so this loop uh, this particular loop will break whenever it this uh, condition is true and this continues throughout all the columns and all the rows so after this completion of rows you will be having a histogram in asd a 
along with that we need to store this particular maximum value available in this histogram in 257th location that 257th location can be accessed by y256 and it is uh, the max i is stored in that y256 so in this uh, my hist function you made change to asd since we are using a uh, reference that particular changes are stored in this particular main ASD the main ASD here and afterwards we'll call the function known as draw hist where we are going to draw the histogram and I'm sending this particular calculated histograms and uh, the window name where you want to display it here is my draw hist function it is taking the reference of ASD that is histogram and it is taking the window name so I am creating an image, I need to display a white background, so for that reason I need to create an image whose height is nearly 640 pixels, uh, you can vary this, it is not a problem and this is 512, the reason the 512 uh, mentioned here is it is nothing but 256 into 2 since we have a, a since we have 8 bit image which has 256 intensities so it is multiplied by 2 in the sense each uh, line uh, will be drawn with 2 pixel wide so 512 is mentioned here uh, if you are uh, if you want to take one pixel wide thick line you can go for just 256 and this is a 8 bit uh, unsigned it means you are getting a grayscale image with a white background now uh, it is not at white background using uh, the 39th line you, know, you can set the background to be white uh, you i'm using making use of set to function and i'm giving 255 value and I'm creating a window uh, name window with this particular win name whatever you have sent it to the drawist function then I'm printing the maximum value present in uh, ASD next I need a row to access the ASD content so I declared Y uh, which is a pointer of float type and uh, it is pointing to zero row. it means ASD has only one row that row is accessed by now Y and next is float max is equal to y256 that is the maximum value is again stored in the max uh, variable next i am calculating a factor factor is a uh, float type uh, which is calculated by 640 it is uh, this particular height of the image divided by the maximum value you have imagine the uh, height is six, uh, maximum is some 2000 uh, pi pixels this 640 divided by 2000 pixels will give you some uh, 3000.320 when this 0 0.320 is multiplied with all the content of this pixel you will get the corresponding height of uh, all the intensities so next is a for loop which runs for 256 times so it uh, this for loop must access the content of y so i am accessing the content of y and multiplying it by a this particular factor and again storing it in a y of i and next is uh, we need two points to draw line uh, one is from bottom side to the top side so this point is point 0.1 that point 0.1 is uh, generated using point constructor and I am sending 2i uh, comma 640 640 is for uh, the bottom line in our uh, OpenCV origin starts from the left top corner so uh, we needed to start a line from the bottom to somewhere it depends on this factor so the bottom is 640 pixel and uh, which is nothing but a y position and the x position is nothing but 2 of i so when i is 0 it becomes 0 so uh, if so when i is 0 it is means for the first intensity i will draw from here uh, at i is equal to 28 i will be drawing it from here it is nothing but 128 into 2 i will be drawing somewhere from here so this is the place where you need uh, the y will be 640 and this is the place where y is 0 next one more point is required uh, it is with uh, again called with point constructor uh, which is with start with uh, x value is at 2 into i uh, but y value is 640 minus y of i y of i is just now updated and you are subtracting it because our height is 640 pixels uh, next we require a color color information is uh, given using the scalar variable I am declaring a scalar variable and its RGB values or BGR values are 0 0 0 it means a black line so I am calling a line function of CV uh, this line function takes the histogram or the figure 
this particular mat and it takes two points these points corresponds to where to draw the line and it is the color information and it is the uh, pixel width the line that needs to be drawn and this cv underscore a stands for anti-aliased lines so they, they look very neat lines and i'm doing this for uh, 256 times so once it is done i'm displaying it on the figure uh, window window that you have created with this particular name so this is draw hist function and next i'm going for a blur blurred version of image blurred version of image is nothing to do in this particular video lecture but uh, i need to show that blurring can be done using some functions in the open cv so i declared an uh, mat uh, with the name blurred and i'm using a function median blur you have many other functions like gaussian blur is available blur function is available or box filter named function is available so i'm making use of one filter blur a median blur filter so I'm, it takes an image and it takes an output image and it takes a mask size since mask is phi uh, it creates an uh, matrix of phi cross phi that is 25 elements will be there so whenever you keep this uh, particular mask in some center pixel uh, around that 25 pixels are arranged in a li linear fashion I mean increasing fraction and the median value is chosen and replaced in the center so you can increase this value but this value has to be odd and this median blur is uh, used whenever there is a salt and pepper noise uh, this the salt and pepper noise can be removed from this particular median blur and I am displaying the image that is blurred image in the in this particular window on as blurred input and next is again calculating the histogram for this blurred version of image and I am drawing it on one more window so this is it for this video lecture uh, let's l uh, learn the inbuilt histogram function in the next video lecture it's the complex uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to like my channel